Hello everyone, Big Mike here, aka Kari from Purple Life Trap. One half of TMR Demand, but I regret bringing you guys and gals One Piece chapter 904, and the title is The Entrance of the Revolutionary Army Commanders. Alright, now, now we're in for it. Now we're going deep into the situation. It is after the whole situation of Baltigo, and... Again, I'm assuming we're going to get some introductions, some uh, big time introductions, pretty much. We're going to get some names cleared up here for, let's see, right now. Okay, so, Columbus, there's a king, and pretty much what it says here is resignation. So, what Columbus is saying right now is he's done being an adventurer, he wants to be a pirate. So rather, be, rather than being a legal, legal seafarer who just wants to go on adventures, finding new countries and such, he wants to be an illegal pirate, joining the ranks of Straw Hat Luffy and the others. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look now what's going to happen here. Momoiro Island, Kamabaka Kingdom. Oh, so we're going to get even calm. All right. The revolutionaries who have lost their long-standing base at Baltigo have moved the location of their leadership summit as well as their main base of operations to this land, which I'm assuming everybody knows where this is because this is the land of all the Okamas. As expected of your bloodline, Strat Boy is amazing, and I had no idea that Sanji Boy was a prince of German 66. He never mentioned it at all. What a cheeky boy, Chaburu. On top of that, it seems that the world government has kicked Germa off, uh, Germa out because of this incident. Hmm, the executive sure are late. They should always be here by... They should almost be here by now, but... Sabo, why have you been laying over there so long, Shabiru? Our chief of staff has been grinning nonstop ever since reading the news about luffy -kun. All that grinning made his, uh, has made his face stiff. Is he an idiot? Uh, I forgot how the Diddin Mushi rings. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, Lind. Uh, Lind. Oh, this is Lindbergh. What's the matter? We've been waiting for you. Sabo, we ran into a little trouble someplace nearby. So, would it be alright if we arrive a little bit later than scheduled? That's fine, as long as you're not in any danger. Ha <laughs> ha! All the executives of the Revolutionary Army are going to be gathering here. I'm so excited! We'll be able to meet Molly Sama, won't we? I can't move my face on her! So, shall we finalize the plan for the operation before they get here? This year's reverie is finally time for us. Yes, it will be our declaration of war against the Celestial Dragon. Dragon is going to come in deep. Dragon's coming into this reverie. commotion and declare that they are now ready 
to go 1v1 against the world government? Or based on Sabo, the Celestial Dragons, but again, this, the world government and the Celestial Dragons kind of go hand in hand, and again, to some degree. So if the RA are now 100% sure they can go toe to toe, this is going to be a big thing, guys. There's going to be a war. Holy sheesh. Okay. Grand Line, Lelousia Kingdom Port. Help! Someone help me! Hold in the valuables, scumbags! Where are the Marines? More more. Ah, ah. Are you talking about those feeling Marines? Your king and the kingdom's strongest forces have left for the reverie. Under the flag of the Emperor Blackbeard, I have been bestowed the name Pinkbeard. What the hell is that name? Remember my name, Colin Veer, at the name of Blackbeard. Pinkbeard Pirates, Captain Pinkbeard. <laughs> Bounty, 52 million. Oh, it's a cannon fodder. And his name is, it has a, he has a freaking belt that has the inscription Momo. So, Momo Taros? Uh, I like the hat. The hat looks cool, but at the same time, guys, come on. I'm a big fan of Momo Taros coming right at that. I don't want to see this guy wearing a belt that says Momo. Does he have a big butt? Kind of like, kind of like it, but he kind of like, it kind of does. But <laughs> come on. <laughs> Give some respect to the Mobile Clan, guys. Please stop. There's a poor town. Kill anybody who resists. Well, they're all dead already in some case. Please spare me. The only thing I value in this town is the Celestial Gold that we offer to the King of the Celestial Dragons. The entire town is barely able to make ends meet, but we still have to give them the Celestial Gold or we'll be killed. Oh my, you have such a terrible king. But more importantly, there's celestial gold in this town. Yeah, you shouldn't have opened your mouth, little girl. You shouldn't. Search the town! Yeah! Eh. Go, Molly. Squish. Uh. Boobs? Okay. What? Is there something underneath the ground? Gah! What is that? A large harpoon! Yeah. Ho! 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 Oh my, what are you staring at? Why did a giant emerge from the ground? And he's dressed weirdly <laughs> too. Got an Okama giant, which I think he's an Okama, if not, probably just Scottish. But I really think this is a freaking Okama giant because his name was brought out by the Okamas, uh, I believe, early on during the chapter. And right now, the PC, come on, there you go, there it is. Morley Sama, so uh, God, he is. Mm, mm, mm. What, is, what is it you're staring at me? Do you have a crush on me? No! A false accusation out of nowhere, and he's speaking with a polite middle aged man. Fire guns, kill him! He has a devil fruit. If not, probably the trident has a devil fruit. Oh, stop it, you men! Do, do giants live underground? It's the first time I've seen one. Is he a marine? What the hell is happening? The ground is moving around like clay. Don't freak out. Oh, don't freak out! He must be a, an ability user. 
or probably use something different like, it must be a devil fruit user. So what do you want to do about this? You compliant trash. Huh? Trash? What do you mean by that? And who are you guys? We are... Uh... Captain, there's two more on... Uh, there's two more of them over there! Oh, this... This guy is cool. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. The guy... The Morley had a backpack. And this guy right now, looks like a freaking cat, has a backpack too, and... It's very steampunk. It's pretty cool. Is it? I'm assuming that's more of a steam jetpack. It's propelling him upwards. So, my again, I would, uh, I would absolutely put that as a hundred percent assumption that that is that I'm correct. That is a freaking steam, steampunk, steam jetpack, which is cool. Okay. All right have a new invention that I've been waiting to use. And instead of waiting, you went ahead and started fighting them first. Hey, hey, wait just a second, Morley. Captain Bigbeard, those guys are, those four, they're normally scattered around the world. The Revolutionary Army, West Army Commander Morley. Hey, you're still staring at me. I'm Russian. Oh, oh God. Stop making a fuss, you scum. They're members of the Revolutionary Army, East Army Commander, Bello Betty. Let me try out my new weapon. Liber uh, Revolutionary Army, South Army Commander, Lindbergh. Oh, I need to check. I need to check this out. Lindbergh. What's Lindbergh? Okay, there we go. Charles Lindbergh. Who are you? Lucky Lindy. Oh, hence the cat. Hence the cat form. Lucky Lindy. Again. can't read it's too small it must be because they have a crush on you potato chunk <laughs> no way you sick so gross hey Betty can I can I go ahead and finish them off no one even answered the question and what the hell is he mumbling about he got mad for some reason. Now, what are you trash going to do? Will you die or will you fight? Choose your own fate. Do you think being a hero is someone else's duty? It could be yours! Even though I'm, again, she's a woman, I'm giving him a very manly voice. The townspeople picked up sticks. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Are you planning to fight us? Lind Karasu, go to the other side of the, to provide support. Leave it to us. How in the world, because of uh, how in the world, because of her rallying cheers, power. Uh, rallying cheers, power is welling up inside me. Chase the pirates out of the town. That's right. That's the power of Betty. Ch Betty's cheer cheer fruit. That's a fruit with one. Uh, with one of her flag, uh, with one of her flag, she is able to awaken the latent power of every person. Betty is the flag bearer of freedom. So we're 
kind of doing a bit of Sengoku Basara or uh, uh, Muso here, where you, again, have flags, you know, trying to get on a territory, put in your flag, and again, the morale of your troops pretty much rise and stuff like that, giving you more troops, giving you more people to support you, giving you more strength in your army, that's pretty much what she does. Kind of a very simple fruit, but it works especially on what's going to happen come the reverie. It seems that they don't re it seems that they don't realize that getting shot is painful. Take this! The cool shooter! It's cool! The guns are being covered in ice! You bastards, get out of there, pirates! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> okay, so this is the, the crow guy that uh, uh, Sabo rolled with out of Dressrosa. So, ah, get it back! The crows are taking our swords! Is that Pinkbeard? I'm assuming snow, that's not Pinkbeard. That's just a random pirate getting hit by a, by a huge stick. Pinkbeard is worth 50 million, eh? That's the end. Black Bear Summer won't let you get away with this. Unfortunately for you, he isn't the type of person to care about the serving under his flag. Hey, you cowardly, you cowardly, uh, cowardly weak and idiotic townspeople. The 50 million on his head is yours to claim. Huh? Here's the contact, here's the contact information for you to get in touch with the Revolutionary Army. You guys did a good job here. You can call us anytime. We won't abandon the weaklings who want to rise up. Hey, hey, everyone, what are we meeting up for this time? We're going to start a fight with the Celestial Dragons. That sounds awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And it. Oh, and. and, and Turn on the loudspeaker, Karasu. I forgot. Time until the reverie. Two days! Which probably in uh, One Piece chapter is going to be like you know, four weeks. The many variables in this world have begun to move. Intense people are gathering. Oh, yeah! So we got a giant, a mink, a boss lady... And a guy who uh, has a problem talking out loud. <laughs> Oda. Alright, you're playing us again, Oda. You're playing on our heartstrings again, Oda. Holy. Well, not really heartstrings, but you're playing on our hearts, Oda. You freaking Goda. So, guys, if you have any thoughts on the chapters, if you have any thoughts on the commanders, the four commanders of the RA of the Revolutionary Army, put them down in the comment section below, and also, do you really think the RA or the Revolutionary Army is ready to take on the world government plus the Celestial Dragons? Do you think the dragon can, if not, has the ability and has the amount of people to fend off or beat the world government and the celestial dragons. Do you think that this declaration of war could work out on my end? It might not, because that's pretty much how it should work. Because the, uh, the the person that would defeat celestial dragons and uh, the world government would be Luffy obtaining the One Piece. That's pretty much how I envision it to happening, and that's probably how everybody thinks so as well. So, guys, as always, if you have anything else to do, you know, if you have anything else great to do, put it on, on just liking the video, because it's just one click, you know you got a mouse, you know you got fingers, you got some digits on your hands, like the video if you like it, subscribe to the video to get more One Piece content, and to join us, to join us, and also ring on the bell to get notified of anything that we put out. And yeah, have a great day. Again, sorry. As always, to my two sweet nation, to our.
Too Sweet Nation. Have a great day. Have an awesome week. And too sweet to everyone.